welcome back friends now here <coughs> we are going to solve again another cost of capital problem and this problem deals with cost of equity cost of external equity cost of of a uh, equity capital so how now there are three ways or three methods by which one can find out the cost of equity capital number 1 the dividend price approach which is div now div1 now div1 is expected dividend per share all right expected dividend per share expected not the current not the past but expected and mps what is mps is market price per share in 200 now that is the first method the second method is second method is the dividend plus growth approach okay which is similar to the previous one but here you'll have a growth rate so div1 expected dividend per share divided by market price per share what is market price per equity share in 200 plus the growth rate small g now that is the dividend plus growth approach and the third one is the earnings price approach earnings price approach which is nothing but eps earnings per share divided by market price per share into 100 earnings per share i will show you later on in the uh, successive problems how do you find out this eps now Let's look at this problem. A company share of rupees hundred, oh, so, sorry, of, of rupees ten, quotes in the market at twenty five. So the market price per share is twenty five rupees. The last dividend paid by the company is three rupees. Dividend is expected to grow by eight percent per annum. Calculate the cost of equity K E K subscript E. Now that's the first part of the problem. The second part is if in the above case the growth rate is ten percent, and the cost of equity remains as calculated above, what would be the expected market price per share? Question mark. What would be? All right. Let's deal with the first part of the problem. Now, how will you solve this problem? Which of these three? methods are you going to use are you going to use dividend price approach dividend plus growth approach or earnings price approach now we can use dividend price approach however since the growth rate is given see growth rate 8% per annum is given so therefore we will go with dividend plus growth approach now what we do not know is we do not know what is the expected dividend per share but we know what is the market price per share can we find out the dividend expected dividend per share yes we can how will you do that all right let's find out so we are going to use we're going to solve solution we're going to use this we're going to solve this problem using the dividend plus growth approach all right so ke is equal to expected dividend per share divided by market price per share into 100 plus the growth rate so what is the dividend expected dividend per share let's do it here working notes so now the last dividend paid for the company is 3 rupees so the expected dividend will be div1 is equal to 3 rupees all right plus All right. Now what is the growth rate? Growth rate is 8% per annum. So 3 into 8 by 100. Okay? You will get 
3.24 when you solve it will be 3.24 so the expected dividend per share is 3.24 what is the market price per share already given it quotes at 25 all right 25 into 100 what is the growth rate again it's given 8% so plus 8% okay equals to if you solve this it'll be 20.96% so your KE is 20.96% so we are done with the first part let's look at the second part of the problem if in the above case the growth rate is 10% now the growth rate is 10% it was 8% now it is 10% and the cost of equity remains as calculated above that means KE will be 20.96% what would be the expected market price per share all right so second part so KE again is equal to DIV 1 divided by market price per share into 100 plus the growth rate all right now what is ke it says ke will be as calculated above all right so let's take this as zero convert that okay will be point two zero nine six equal to what is div again working notes div here div one it will change why will it change because the growth rate was 8%. Now the current growth rate is 10%. So 3 plus 3 into 10 by 100. It'll be equal to the 3.3. So DIV is 3.3. What is the market price per share? We have to find that out. All right. Plus what is the growth rate? 10%. So 0 0.10. 10%. All right. Now so if you bring this to the other side it'll be 0 0.2096 minus 0 0.3.3 mps so mps will be 3.3 divided by 0 0.1096 so 0.96 so MPS will be equal to rupees 30.11. Alright, so that is how you solve this problem. Alright, thank you.